So if you've been following Learn Linux TV for more than, well, a few weeks, then you probably already know how much I love a good docking station. But note that I said a good docking station. Some of them are actually quite terrible. But I found one that actually isn't terrible, and what I thought I would do in this video is tell you guys about the CalDigit TS4, which is what I'm going to be reviewing today. Hello and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. I have a quick video for you guys. I wanted to review the CalDigit TS4, which is what I'm going to do today. But since this is a docking station, this is going to be a pretty quick video because what am I going to tell you about a docking station other than the ports that are accessible on the docking station and whether or not it works? Well, spoiler alert, it works just fine. Now, this particular KVM right here was purchased out of my own money. So this isn't a review unit or anything like this. I actually purchased this for use in the studio and I wanted to tell you guys about it because I had a good experience with it. And since I get asked a lot, you know, which docking station should I buy? I wanted to take a moment to recommend the CalDigit TS4 because well, again, it works very, very well for me. Now, more specifically, this is a Thunderbolt dock. So if you have Thunderbolt devices, then you are actually going to be well supported with this docking station. But Thunderbolt is not actually required in order to use this. For those of you that have been following the channel, I did review recently the Dev1 from HP. It has a USB port on that device, and you can actually power that device from USB-C, but it doesn't have Thunderbolt though. But you know what? It still works. So even if you don't have Thunderbolt, you can still use this device. You might lack some of the Thunderbolt features like the throughput you would get for Thunderbolt devices attached to the dock, but it still works just fine. Now I did test this out with a notebook that does have Thunderbolt and that worked out well too. So if you have a Linux device, this is a Linux channel, then you could rest assured that this device is actually going to work with your Linux computer. It worked with several of mine. I've had no issues. Now, oddly enough though, I did have one problem and I wanna make you guys aware of this one problem before I tell you more about this device because if you have more than one computer and one of those computers is a MacBook, then this is not the docking station for you because for some reason it doesn't work on MacBooks. I don't really understand why. I tried this with an M1 Mac and display worked just fine, charging worked just fine, and the M1 Mac does indeed have Thunderbolt, but none of the USB ports will work. So if you attach a keyboard and a mouse to this device, which of course you would, why wouldn't you do that? Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work at all. But on a Windows PC via Thunderbolt, works just fine. Display, keyboard, mouse, all of it. On a Linux PC, a Linux notebook, it works just fine. So honestly, if you have more than one device, as long as one of those devices isn't a MacBook, you should be fine. But if you do require Mac support with the CalDigit TS4, I can't recommend it because it literally just doesn't work at all. Now that said, even though it doesn't work with a Mac, if you are still watching this video, I assume that isn't something that matters to you. So let's continue. On the back of the unit, we have pretty much every port that you could ever want. We have several Thunderbolt ports, four USB ports, DisplayPort 1.4. We have a headphone jack, for example, an ethernet jack. Of course, we have the barrel connector for the included power adapter. And then on the front of the unit, we have a headphone jack. We have a card reader. We also have another USB port as well as two more USB-C ports. So yeah, basically any port that you could ever want is on this device. Now, how much does it cost? Well, that's a good question. The unfortunate side of the CalDigit TS4, other than the fact that it doesn't work on MacBooks for some reason that I just simply can't understand. I mean, it's USB, it's not that complicated. But anyway, the price comes in at just above 379 US dollars, which yes, that is expensive, but this is a best in class docking station. It gives you power delivery so it could charge your notebook, every port that you could ever want. It allows you to actually have your full refresh rate. I have 120 Hertz when it comes to my monitors, refresh rate works just fine. It's an ultra wide display that works just fine. And that alone makes this device very, very valuable because Honestly, a lot of docking stations just really don't support ultra wide displays well. And even if they do, they often will lower you down to 30 Hertz for the refresh rate. Some of them will even give you 60, but almost none of them go above 60 for anything more than 4K. And my ultra wide is technically considered 5K. It works just fine. So that's a very big selling point when it comes to this unit. But the worst part about that is right now, even if you had the money to buy this device, good luck. 
they're being scalped for ridiculous amounts of money. So definitely don't pay more than $379.99 US dollars because that's the manufacturer's suggested retail price. So don't pay the scalpers, don't let them win, just be patient if this is something that you wanted to buy. But I just wanted to mention that in case you guys see it for a ridiculous price. I've seen them go for $600 or more. Just be patient and wait for a restock and you'll be able to get one. And if you're interested in buying one, I will have an affiliate link down below that will help support the channel if you're interested in supporting the channel. But even if you do click that link as of recording time, you're probably not going to get one. It'll probably say out of stock. Just keep trying, but if you do actually see that it's in stock and you click that link, it'll help support the channel and I'll really appreciate that. But anyway, I just wanted to make this video because I really do like this device. It was a great purchase for me. I'm not really a Mac user, so the fact that this doesn't work well with a Mac doesn't really bother me. I just wanted to try that just in case, you know, you guys might have a Mac and you want to um, have cross-platform support. It does have cross-platform support, Windows and Linux, just not Mac. Now, of course, it's possible that CalDigit might get that fixed in a firmware update. Not really sure as of yet. As of recording time, I do have the latest software on here. It doesn't help. USB, when it comes to keyboard and mouse, does not work on a MacBook, like I said before. But as long as that's not an issue for you, if you don't actually use a MacBook, then that doesn't matter to you. Again, Windows and Linux is totally fine. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought of this quick review. I know it was super quick. I mean, what else can I say about a docking station? It either works or it doesn't, and this one definitely does. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this unit, this review, and make sure you click that like button if you found this review helpful, and be sure to subscribe because I have some awesome content coming very soon that I can't wait for you to see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.